Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will focus on a complete walkthrough of a linked list data structure in Python. So what is a linked list? A linked list is a data structure that consists of nodes where each node contains two fields, a value and a pointer, which is a reference link to the next node. As you can see, it is a collection of nodes which makes a sequence using the pointers, where the first node of the linked list is called the head node, and the last node has a reference link to null. We already know that a linked list is a sequence made from nodes. So the first step to creating a linked list is to create a structure of a node as its own class. So when initialized, a node should take some data to use as the value, as well as have a default pointer to the next node set to none, which will be changed as we add more nodes together to form a sequence. To test the code, let's create a node that will have a value equal to 5 and print out the value and the pointer to the next node. exactly as what we expected to see. So we see that the data in the first node is five and the pointer is set to null or none. So let's go ahead and create a few more individual nodes. The next step is to create a structure or a linked list as its own class. When initialized, a linked list should only have the head node set to null in order to start an empty linked list. To start adding nodes to a linked list, we want the first node we created to be the head node of the linked list.
this will create a linked list with one node, which will be the head node. Recall that each node has a reference link set to null. In order to create a sequence of nodes, we will set each reference link to point to the next node. And now we have successfully created a linked list with three nodes, which should look like this. So we have our head node, which is five, and then that points to the second node, which is seven. That points to the third node, which has a value 15, and the last node points to null. So in this section, we have been adding nodes to the linked list rather manual than programmatically. In the next sections, we will explore how to insert nodes at the end, at the beginning, and at specific positions of the linked list. In the previous section, we created the linked list, a list, and now we would like to traverse the linked list and print out values of each node. Recall that the initial construction of a linked list is given by this code right here. A singly linked list can only be traversed in forward direction, meaning from head node to the last node. The logic is fairly simple. We will start at the head node, print its current value, and then move to the next node, given that the reference link is not null. So here we would start at a head node with the value 5, print out 5, go to next node, print the value 7, go to next node, print the value 15, and once we reach the last node where the reference link is null, we will stop traversing the linked list. In this section, we will implement a method print a list for traversing a linked list and printing values of each node for the linked list class. So here we're starting with current node being the head node. And as long as the current node is not none, we will print out the current node data and then move to the next node. Let's test this code with the same list as we created in the previous section and print out the values of each node. Perfect. We've successfully traversed the linked list and printed out the value of each node in the linked list. In one of the previous sections, we showed an example of how to create a linked list in Python. 
The approach we used was rather manual than programmatic because we had to manually link the nodes together and add reference links to the next node. So this is the code that we used right here. In this section, we will implement a method insert at end for inserting nodes at the end of a linked list, which is basically like appending new nodes for the linked list class. Let's reuse the linked list we've built in the previous section, which is this code above. And in order to add nodes at the end of the linked list in Python, we should follow a logic that is similar to traversing the linked list in Python. We start at the head node, and if the head node exists, then we move to the next node. Now, if the head node is null, then the node we want to add becomes the head node. Assuming that the head node exists, we move to the next node, given that the reference link is not null. We continue moving to the next node as long as the reference link is pointing to another node that has a value and it's not the last node with reference link null. Once we reach the last node, we will insert the new node right after it and have its reference link as null. So here we have a linked list with a single node that has a value of 5 and its reference link is pointing to null. Now, we want to add another node which has the value of 7 to it. Since this node in the linked list is the last node and it has a reference link to null, what we will do is we will set the reference link to point to our new node which has value of 7 and then the node that has value of 7 is actually going to point to null. This will allow us to create a linked list which will start at 5, then go to 7, and then 7 will be the last node pointing to null. In this section, we will implement a method insert at end for inserting nodes at the end of a linked list or the linked list class. First, we will create a node from the new data. Then we will check if the head node exists, and if it doesn't exist, then the new node will become the head node. Now, assuming that the head node exists, we are going to start it off as our last node, or essentially the last node that we looked at. Now, as long as the reference link of the last node is not none, we will continue moving to the next node of the linked list. Once we reach the last node, which has the reference link to none, 
we will set the reference link of the last node to new node. Now let's try to create the same list as in the second section of this tutorial and see if we get the same results. Recall that we had a list which started with 5, which was the head node, then the next node was 7, and the last node was 15. Perfect. Now we see that the list that we created has the head node 5, next node is 7, and the last node is 15, which is exactly the same as when we created the linked list manually and should look like this. In the previous section, we implemented a method to insert nodes at the end of a linked list. But what if we need to add a node in the beginning of a linked list? That's what we're going to cover in this section. Inserting a node in the beginning of a linked list is much simpler from the logic and code perspective. The very first node of a linked list is a head node. And if we need to insert a node before it, we should simply have a node that has a reference link to the head node. Of course, if there are no nodes in the linked list, then the new node becomes the head node. So here we have a linked list with a single node, which has a value 5 and reference link to null, and it's also the head node. Now we want to add the node with value 9 at the beginning of this linked list. All we will have to do is we'll have to take this new node with the value of 9 and have its reference link point to the current head node. Now what this will do is that it will now make the new node the head node of the linked list and the new linked list will be 9 and then 5, and then 5 will be the last node of the linked list. In this section, we will implement a method insert at beginning for inserting nodes at the beginning of a linked list or the linked list class. First, we will create the new node with the new data. Then we will check if the head node exists. If the head node doesn't exist, then the new node will become the head node.
if the head node exists, then what we will do is we will take the reference link of the new node and point it to the head node and then set the head node as the new node. Now let's create the same list as in the previous section of this tutorial and add a node with value 9 at the beginning of the linked list. So we already have a linked list with nodes 5, 7 and 15 and now let's add a node with the value of 9 at the beginning of this linked list. Perfect. As we can see, we worked with the original linked list and successfully added node with the value of 9 at the beginning of the linked list. So the whole linked list is now 9, 5, 7, 15, with 9 being the head node and 15 being the last node. And it should look like this. As we can see, the head node has the value of 9 and the last node has a value of 15 and a reference link to null. So far in this tutorial, we discussed how to add elements at the beginning and at the end of a linked list. In this section, we will explore how to add elements after a given node of a linked list. When inserting a node after a given node, the first step is to find the previous node given the data in the linked list. In order to find the previous node, we will traverse the linked list from its head node all the way until we find the previous node. Once we find the previous node, we will change the reference link of a new node from null to the reference link of the previous node and then we will change the reference link of the previous node to the new node. So let's take a look at an example. So here we have a linked list with two nodes. They had node with value seven, which points to the next node with value 15, and 15 is the last node since its reference link is pointing to null. Now what we want to do is we want to insert the node with value 10 between node with value 7 and node with value 15 or essentially insert the node with value 10 after the node with value 7. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the reference link of this node which is currently pointing to the node with value 15 and point it to the new node with value 10 and then this node with value 10 will now point to the node with value 15. And that will allow us to insert a node with value 10 after node with value 7. And the linked list will now become the linked list with head node with the value 7, second node with the value 10, and the last node with the value 15 and its reference link pointing to null. In this section, we will implement a method insert after node for inserting nodes after a given node of a linked list for the linked list class.
First, we will create a new node with the given data. Then we will set the current node as the head node. We will then traverse the linked list until the data of the current node is equal to the previous node. Once we found the value of the previous node that we're looking for, we will change the reference links of the nodes as we explained before. Now let's create the same linked list as in the previous section of this tutorial and add a node with value 10 after the node with value 7. We've successfully created the linked list and inserted a node with value 10 after the node with value 7. And it should look like this. Here we can see that the node with value 10 is inserted after the node with value 7, and the node with value 7 is pointing to the node with value 10, and the node with value 10 is pointing to the node with value 15, which is the last node, and it has a reference link pointing to null. We already know how to create a linked list, and let's say we created a linked list in Python. Now we would like to search a node in this linked list to check whether it exists. The logic is fairly simple. We will start at the head node and start moving to the next node, node after node, and given that the reference link is not null. We will compare the values of each node with the value we're searching for and print node found as soon as the node is found, or print node not found if we traverse the linked list and didn't find the value we're searching for. So here we have a linked list with three nodes which have values 5, 7, and 15. And let's say we're looking for the node with value 15. We will start at the first node with a value 5, We'll check if 5 is equal to 15, obviously it's not, and then we move to the next node, which is the node with value 7. We check if 7 is equal to 15, obviously it's not, then we move to the next node with the value 15, and we check if the value is the same as what we're looking for, and it turns out it is. So since we found the node with the value we're looking for, we are going to print node found. In this section, we will implement a method, search node, for searching a node in the linked list or the linked list class.
first we create the current node variable, which we start as the head node. We will then traverse the linked list and look for the node with the value equal to the data we're searching for. If we find the node, we'll print node found. At every iteration, if the value of the current node is not equal to the data we're looking for, we will move to the next node. After traversing the entire linked list, if we don't find the node with the value equal to the data we're searching for, we will print node not found. Now let's create the same list as in the previous section of this tutorial and search for the node with value 15. Perfect. We just got the result that we found the node with the value 15. Let's take a look at the actual steps in this example. Here we have our linked list and we start at the head node with a value of 9 and we check if it's equal to 15. It's not. We move to the next node with a value of 5 not equal to 15, we move to the next node with a value 7, not equal to 15, and then we move to the last node where the value of the node is 15 and the data we're looking for is 15, so we print node found. We already know how to search a node in a linked list in Python. Now we would like to delete a node from a linked list in Python. As you can imagine, the process will be similar to traversing a linked list and searching for a given node in a linked list. The logic is fairly simple. We will start at the head node and check whether it's the node we would like to remove. If yes, then we will repoint the head node to the next node. If no, then we will use it as current node and check whether we want to remove the next node. The process continues node after node until we find the node to delete from a linked list. Here is a linked list with the head node with a value of 9 next node with a value 5, 7, 10, and the last node with a value 15 with a reference link to null. So here, for example, we would like to delete the node with a value 5. We start at the head node with a value 9. So 9 is not equal to 5. We move to the next node, which has value 5, and it is the node we would like to delete. What we will do is we will point the previous node to the node that comes after the node. So essentially here we have a node with a value of 9 pointing to 5 pointing to 7. What we're doing is we're breaking these links and removing the node. And now the previous node, which comes before node with a value of 5, is pointing to the node that comes after the node with a value of 5. In this section, we will implement a method, delete node, 
for deleting a node in the linked list or the linked list class. This method assumes you're trying to delete a node that exists in the linked list. We begin with creating the current node variable and starting it at the head node. Now we will check if the head node is the node we would like to delete. If it is the node we would like to delete, we will simply set the next node as the head node. If the head node is not the node we would like to remove, we will continue by traversing the linked list until we find the node that we would like to delete and repoint the reference links as discussed before. Once we find the node we're looking for, we will repoint the reference links. Now let's create the same list as in the previous section of this tutorial and delete the node with value 5. Perfect. As you can see, we have successfully removed the node with the value 5 from the linked list. And our linked list should look like this. Here we can see that we've successfully removed the node with the value 5 from the linked list. In this tutorial, we focused on a walkthrough of the linked list data structure in Python and its functionality, which is important to learn as it is often used in many areas of programming. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.